Good morning, Sagittarius. Gang, gang. Happy weekend. Uh, happy Friday. And this is the weekend reading. This could be things coming in towards your weekend. Sagittarius, let's get it all fixed for you. I'm going to flip the screen um, today so that you can see the cards if it's something that you like better. You can let me know in the comments. We'll see how it looks. I usually don't like the way it looks when I flip it. Um, but we'll see. You know, it's always about trying new things, Sagittarius. If this is your first time here, this is a Sagittarius channel, but all are welcome. You may find something out of it. And there's a lot of energies that usually come out. You know, I do, uh, the daily readings are really about your daily life. They're not, you know, the ultra deep message. I um, do one love reading a week. So I don't specifically look for love. It, at times it does come out in the readings. And I, I personally just would rather have it come out organically if it's what needs to be seen, right? Because I find, you know, I'm not, I know it's what people want to see. But it, sometimes, I don't know about y'all, you'll have to let me know, but I feel like there can be too much of a focus on love readings. And I want to offer something different. Amen, amen. <laughs> if you're looking for personal readings, please check out the link in my description. I do usually do um, extended readings for the um, for the daily readings, um, but we'll... We'll see how things play out, you know. I do usually offer an extended reading on, you know, because I do like uh, at least two readings a day, sometimes three. So there will always be an extended reading, but, and that's just so you can get more information and it kind of saves you money on, uh, you know, just for those who really can't afford a personal reading. But let's get into it. Sagittarius and FYI just you know the news <laughs> I'm going to start going live on Thursdays I'm going to try to do it every Thursday unless I have something really important to do uh, but in the live reading and this is something you should know I don't do a collective reading in the live reading what I do is just come to check in with everybody and I will usually do um Kind of like a turn a free card of my choosing. <laughs> so yeah, so it's fun. It's it's very personal. So let's get into it, Sag. Um, but can we talk? <laughs> I keep coming up with something new. And I also laugh a lot during my readings. If, you know, that's not for you, I understand. But if it is, then you're welcome. I feel like Sagittarians, that's what we do. We laugh at everything. So let's see, Sag. It feels like the overall energy, it's interesting. Because I don't know about y'all, but my sleep patterns are so messed up because of eclipse season. I can't take it. I can't Either I sleep a lot or I don't sleep at all. I don't really get it. But thank goodness for naps. That's what I have to say. So the overall energy is crown chakra. This is the sacred geometry sacred geometry deck i'm also using an animal message and uh, and the kipper so um it's interesting because it it feels as if it does feel as if you're going to be spending time with people or even just talking to people this weekend but and i feel like it may really help because it feels like you're Figuring out some feelings that you may be having. Because crown chakra and passion is here. Now that could be... It's like uh, there feels like a big transmuting of energy here. So if you have been feeling like negative emotions about things or just things feeling heavy for you, um, it's almost like that's turning around. And that may be happening, you know, through talking with people. Um, but it feels like you're... You're starting to see what's underneath the feelings. That's what this passion card is about. And 
you know, I do feel like we are in heavy transfer, not so much transformation energy, closure, completion, you know, sometimes, especially when energy is, is big and eclipse energy is big, it, we can have feelings and kind of be like, I don't know why I'm feeling this. Right. But I kind of feel like some feelings you have, you're, you're transmuting them. You're seeing what's, where it's coming from, what's under it all. And, and, you know, able to see the positive. And that could like really be sitting also with like negative events, you know, um, maybe feeling bad about certain things. Now it makes sense. It's, it's, it's actually bringing balance into your life. Now, this could be happen happening intuitively, you know, with the crown chakra, or it could be happening through, you know, time that you're spending with other people. Maybe other people are helping you to see things, you know, how whatever, if this or that happened, it was for the best, <laughs> you know, kind of that blessing in disguise energy. So, yeah, you're, you're really turning some things around, which is nice. Nice, nice, nice. So in terms of what you're receiving, we're seeing Coyote and Bobcat. Uh, you know, it it feels like there's a lot of embracing. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm here to let it unfold, you know, with Bobcat. And, and I don't feel like it's like it's not something you have to. Sagittarius, for one thing, if I can just interject this. We usually are pretty good with uncertainty. It, it is like we have that energy. I know everything will work out the way it's supposed to. <clears throat> I'm not worried, which is usually Sagittarius's energy. But I mean, of course, there's stress involved with it, right? So in terms of any stagnation you might be feeling or not knowing what's going to happen, you're just kind of okay with it. You're not. You're not like really focused on it and there's playfulness like playfulness says you know what I just want to relax I want to have a good time you know not really worrying about the future or what may or may not work out which I love what is influencing your energy is change journey and community I really think some Sagittarians are moving but that aside, you know, you, this could be going someplace that, you know, is different for you to, you know, meeting different people too. Maybe you're just going, getting in the car, sad, and going someplace you don't normally go. And this may really be tied to your, um, playfulness, uh, but I also, I just feel like you may be going to different places. It really feels like that. For those of you who are moving, you, you sense the change is coming. You know, but these are, these are energies that are influencing your weekend energy. So you may just, you know, decide to go somewhere new, you know, to, to be around new people, new environments, which... We are Sagittarians and we love to travel. <laughs> we love to travel. Don't even tell me you don't like to travel. I, I cannot even accept that. So underneath the deck, Sagittarius is the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords with the Three of Cups. I feel I feel this strongly that you may be um, connecting with other people. And you may be, uh, they may be really helping you because here we're seeing balance again with the Ten of Pentacles. I, I feel like they're helping you to balance some things out that, that have been worrying you. So if you're having worries now with the Three of Cups, those are always people who support us. So, you know, especially when we're talking about things that are bothering us. It is actually the best idea to talk to someone you know will be empathetic to you. It's not something you do randomly or or post online or, or something like that. I, you know, you want to do it in a safe space. And with the Three of Cups, those are people who care about us, people who support us. 
And I feel like even if you're not talking about your problems, you're just kind of this weekend trying to not be there. You know what I'm saying? Trying to not be there. But I do feel like you are talking to others and they may be helping you come to solutions. I said what I said. Because you definitely are trying to figure something out. Okay? Maybe things have just been hard. And with the, because you are in Queen of Swords energy, which is that energy of trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the future, or trying to, you know, with the Three of Swords and difficult times, right? Three of Swords is actually about healing, you know, and letting things go and overcoming problems here with the Queen of Swords, because the Queen of Swords is about information and you know, she is very vocal. And so I do actually feel like you may be talking to other people about shit. I do. And so, you know, it's interesting because the Empress is here with the Ten of Wands. If you do this, Sagittarius, it's going to make you feel better about things. It definitely is. And with the Ten of Wands, that's kind of knowing... That, that the worst is over. I mean, it's over. The, the tens are completion. And it really is... Uh, this is really... It feels like things that have been heavy for you to carry. That's the ten of wands, right? We've, we're accomplishing that. And often how we accomplish that is by unburdening ourselves and with the empress the empress is healing right the empress is you know doing good things for ourselves and and absolutely being able to see um things in this and i feel like what you're maybe able to see through talking with other people or however you're doing it is that things just aren't as bad as you think you know, they aren't as bad as you think because that energy is all over the reading. And maybe you can't see that, like being inside it. Maybe you can't see it, but it does feel like other people or some, or whatever you're doing to get out of this energy this weekend is really helping and really giving you perspective, Saj. You know, this is about the future. Two of Wands and Judgment. It's about the future. You want to make decisions for your future. But it's kind of like, it's not exactly the time. It's just a time of reflecting, of looking back. And so, yeah, well, okay. Because there, there will be a choice here with the Two of Wands. You know, it could be you wanting to make a choice about your future. You know, and maybe you're just making it because with the Ten of Wands, it's like, are we making things more complicated than they need to be? Sometimes we are. Sometimes we are. Especially if we get in this energy of nothing ever gets better. Or this is never going to end. And I feel like, you know, if you share this with people who, who create a safe space for you, that, you know, they're not belittling you. They just maybe are helping you to have some perspective about, you know, how these things are helping you. Amen, amen, right? Yeah, because we're seeing, you know, what you want to do. The Four of Wands <coughs> and the world. You actually, this is what you want to do. You could be... Visiting someone that isn't exactly close to you. Um, for some, this is definitely about moving. And we know who those people are, but we won't mention their names. <laughs> and But it could be that other people are really helping you figure things out. Right? And so, you do want to do this. Like, you want to talk to other people. You want to allow people to help you. You know, to bring this change in, so to speak. You know, I love it. Love it. What you're actually doing is 
Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, things may get a little more emotional for you than you expected. So where, you know, maybe you make plans to meet up with some people who live over there, right? And because the Four of Wands definitely can be an event. And you just think, oh, it's just going to be fun. It winds up being more emotional than you think. But the on the flip side is there, whoever you're talking with, help you come to a solution that, that is a little bit different than you expected. That, you know, the Page of Cups is a happy surprise. And I do feel like at the end of the day, Sag, you feel better. Wow. Oh, and I just got the chill, Sag. So it feels really good. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Well, somebody's got money coming. Oh, wowza. Hang me in. And the Six of Cups. Wow. Things are turning out better than you expected, Sagittarius. And the Tower. Oh, I feel like this is a forecast. Yeah, I feel like uh, after this eclipse, it, it feels like this, Sag, because whenever I see the Tower cards... And we have some major energy coming up, like an eclipse or a full moon or some, or even a new moon. I know something new is like some, something is about to break, you know, and the tower comes in. Everyone's scared of it, but the tower comes in for us and it kind of is to shake up our world. So it, it can be very stressful, it can involve endings or, you know. The, the universe won't bring the tower unless the tower is necessary. You know, unless there's like something you're supposed to do and you put it off and then the universe says, and it looks that way, right? This definitely is a happy tower. Let me just say that. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Six of Cups, and the Tower and the Four of Pentacles. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. If you all know anything about tarot, so I'm not assuming you do, but the eight and nine of pentacles is resources and confidence that things are working out and it, and you've been waiting for it. Like, and, and there may, may have come this time where you said, you know what? I, I can't, there's nothing I can do anymore. I am turning it over to you. The universe, God, however it is that you assign, Right. Let go. You let go of trying to figure it out. or And it comes to you. Right? Now, the Eight of Pentacles says, you know, it, it's not that you don't do anything. But you've been putting in the work to feel better about things. And the more you do that, because that's building your confidence. That's that, well, it seems really dark, but... You know, everything always works out for me. I'm not even sweating this. It's going to work out. And it does. Because you surrender. You surrender and the universe says, Oh, okay, Saj, I got you. Like, literally. Now, the Six of Cups often has to do with the past. Can be about past people. But... Even more than that, the Six of Cups is a turnaround. You know, so things are turning around. It it does also talk about fun, but, you know. So things are turning around, and the Tower is literally giving you. Like, it takes everything else out of the way, Sag. And with the Four of Pentacles, it's like it's something you've been waiting for. Something you've been holding on for, you know? I love this. Sag, I oh, chill again. Oh, six of wands, what? The king of swords. It does feel like there's definitely something coming in through communication. With someone... 
that you have understanding with. Now, often the king and queen of swords is a couple that hasn't, that doesn't talk to each other, right? They're turned from each other. They're silent. It, it, it often can represent exes, but I don't feel like that's what's happening. I feel as if this could be someone you haven't talked to for a while. But what they're showing you. Oh my goodness. It's like they're clearing up confusion for you. They're making something clear that wasn't clear to you. That was hidden from you. You know, kind of that's that energy of I don't know what to do. And I feel a large part of what they're telling you is this. Sag, you've done this before. You've overcome things like this before. Stop it. You're letting fear get in the way or or definitely like uh, the moon is like we're so clouded by emotions that that we can't see reason and you know they're kind of telling you that all of this happened really what i said yesterday so that you could make space for new things so that something else could come in but you're getting maybe lost in the things that have happened. Wow, Sagittarius, oh my gosh. Wow. And you know what's interesting is like, I always feel with the King and Queen of Swords is that usually the Queen of Swords is the reasonable one. But we need the King of Swords because they make it make sense for us. So this could be someone who understands you, Sag. They understand the way you think. And they, they're they very matter of fact. That's how you can know who this is in your life. This is not someone who's supporting you emotionally. This is someone who's saying, Saj, make it make sense. Stop, get out of your feels and look at this logically. You've been here before. You've done this before. It may not have been the exact thing, but you've overcome so much already. Come on now. <laughs> you know, and sometimes too, I find like if we have a king of swords in our life, we get mad at them. You know, we get mad at them because we, we want to feel our feels. And this person definitely, this king of swords does not let you feel your feels. They are all about figuring things out, being logical, you know. And, and of course, the King of Swords sees above the problem. So they're able to see that maybe that's why you're going to this person. Because they're able to see things you don't because they don't come at it from an emotional space. Amen, amen. So Sagittarius get you some advice this is um oh what's this you know now i can't even remember what this duck is oh spirit junkie <laughs> get you a spirit junkie card i totally love this reading by the way i love this sagittarius We have all have one of those people in our life. This is definitely someone who is very good at like making sense of things for you or, you know, helping you to make sense of things. So, what's your card for Sagittarius? Oh, here we go, Sag. Taking care of myself is a radical act of love. And I heard that. I see grace and possibility in all life's challenges. This could be a mantra for you today, Sagittarius. Let's see what you're learning. 
What is Sagittarius learning? What is Sagittarius learning this weekend? What is Sagittarius learning? Sagittarius. Oh, okay, Sag. <laughs> You're so dramatic. <laughs> Okay. Mirror, treat your body like the palace it is and let them go, which is saying, you know, especially if you're supposed to let something go because it's good for your health. <laughs> okay, Lodge. You know, that's right, because anxiety hurts us, y'all. It does. That's why I meditate. As soon as I start it, like, incorporating meditation in my life i stopped having panic attacks which is a genetic thing in my family they're you know one of my weaknesses now <laughs> so what do you want sagittarius to focus on what does sagittarius need to focus on Trusting your higher self. Definitely crown chakra energy. Oh, boy, Sag, you got a lot of cards. Trusting yourself, Sag. Pay attention to your dreams and visions. More crown chakra energy for me. Own your power. And... <laughs> An illusion, you know who you really are, which is like you've been through many challenges before, Sag. And maybe, you know, you have a message coming through in a dream that you might be reluctant to believe. Um, believe it, Sag, because that's your higher self talking to you. Tune in. Tune in. And basically what it's telling you is that you are powerful. You got this. You got this, Sagittarius. Oh, the chill again. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope it helps the most. Toodles.